so you know what i had a huge itch to actually do some single track i haven't done single track in almost two weeks and it was crawling up in my skin and out of all the things i decided hey can the klx 250 do single track i'm curious how it's gonna perform on the tight single track i mean i wasn't gonna take it on crazy technical stuff somewhat but i decided to do some itty bitty technical sections and turn around because you know i was out by myself but i tell you what the klx 250 really did a good job <music> What's going on everybody, riding with Will right here and uh, I kind of wanted to see how the KLX does on uh, single track. There's 770 out here somewhere. This has 2770. 770 is, looks like it's right there on the right. So here's 770, single track, black for badass. Ooh, this is a very rutted out. So just an FYI guys, this single track was really worn in, kind of like that V shape and a lot of people will consider this pretty difficult because of the V shape. So you really have to get that tire placement just right 100%. Also, I was by myself, so I kind of wanted to take it easy in case, you know, anything goes wrong, I'm by myself. Definitely a 300-pound dual sport is really hard to manage on your own, especially if you drop it. So that's the only bad part about this KLX 250 is just if you drop it. Stuff like this make me nervous. <laughs> okay, that was good. All right. <laughs> that was my first spill. It feels, you know, it feels just like a dirt bike. When you're riding it, you don't even think of the weight. You know, I was really impressed with the KLX 250. It handles just like a dirt bike. It feels just like a dirt bike until you drop it, of course. But that is a no-brainer. A 300-pound machine with the gas tank right behind. I mean, the way it handles single track is really good. I'm really surprised how well Kawasaki made this bike and the suspensions weren't even that bad either. They were nice and plush and really comfortable. Ah, this is a fun little single track, man. That looks a little nada. So yeah, I mean, it is a bit of a workout, but nothing too crazy, you know? Steep climb, you know, no problem. He really the only thing I do notice on the KLX is uh, you really have to commit, like on like steep obstacles and stuff. So I feel like the turns are a little bit harder on this guy. Not terribly hard, but. So for you guys who follow me know exactly that I'm a new rider. I haven't even reached my year mark. And here I am with the 300 pound machine doing uh, tight single track. And believe me guys, this is a tight single track. I know video does not do justice, but some parts are locking your handlebars type of turn. And a 300 pound machine is totally capable, especially the KLX 250. So yes, the KLX 250 can really do single track, no problem at all. You probably don't even need a $10,000 bike. This $5,000 machine is more than enough. 